Hi, I'm Morak Dice, and welcome back. And, uh, sorry if the first episode was choppy a little bit. Um, it had, uh, my frame rate had reverted to, ah, to 30 frames per second instead of the solid 60 frames per second, which, if I convert it, it actually becomes, like, I think 45 frames per second, but it, it looked kind of choppy. Um, sorry ahead of time if it looked a little choppy. This episode should hopefully run a lot smoother. It also might be the fact that my computer's a little tired because I've been fussing with it all day. Like, uninstalling and reinstalling stuff. Also, I play this game really fast, so that really doesn't help it. I'm almost always clutching the run button. In ID software, you know, all their games have that, like, let's shut out the lights, and then monsters come from behind you. Like, that's such a typical, you know, cliche thing. People still do it when they make FPSs. And really, these kind of games set the standard for every game that came out. The dungeons are complete. I could have gone and gotten the... gone through a secret, I think, and gotten... Uh, the, to, the dragon land. But I can go ahead and get it right in here. Use the wings of wrath. Although I don't know how I'm going to fly because I don't think I have a setting on my controller, so I might just mix it. And I, I really don't like the keyboard and mouse setup. There's a few games I like it on. Oh, now you're throwing fireballs, Imp? Huh? But, uh,. I don't know, I, I don't like going, you know, back and forth, and I hate, like, looking over keys and stuff like that. That's just not something I like doing. I know some people are, like, you know, ridiculous, like, StarCraft. I know all the shortcuts, and I can, like, keyboard and mouse at, like, 3,000 keys per second. But that's not me. I don't know. I'm, I'm strictly a controller fan. I always have been, and, you know, ever since the PlayStation 1 DualShock controller, because the dog bone controller, the first one, was awful, um, when they came out with the next one, I was like, oh, that's awesome. And uh, at first it was confusing, because I remember getting Medal of Honor for, like, PlayStation. Someone, like, gave me a demo of it, um, just to be like, oh, here's a game you can play on your new PlayStation. And I, like... I was, like, confused by, like, the the first stick being, you know, strafe and then forward and backwards because I was so used to the old PC, like, up, down, left, right, and then, like, you'd hold a button to strafe, like, hold alt to strafe, and, like, I don't know, man, that kind of stuff was, like, it, like, blew my mind, and, uh, my hands obviously could not move in that direction yet. So for a long time, I was, like, adamantly opposed to it, and I did, you know, the the regular left-right, up-down kind of thing. And when I finally got used to doing the strafe on the uh, axis, it became, like, a million times easier. And ever since then, I, I've tried going back to that, and I cannot do that. I mean, even in games like Minecraft and another game that I will be LPing that I cannot tell you what it is because it's part of the 10, um, I will be using a keyboard and mouse for that. But that's also because it's the control is almost impossible because there's so many buttons, so many things you'll be doing. I'll be doing, you won't be doing anything if we said no option. But, um, laughing and mocking me. But, as for anything, uh, I think that the keyboard and mouse really have limited applications, especially for me. No, you go to hell and you die. I do like the sound they make when they die, they're like, oh. I just think it's like a good sound design. 
you get a thumbs up Raven software. I mean, the one thing about these games is, is enemies are profoundly stupid, and I really hate, like, modern games where the enemies are that stupid, because, like, sometimes, even this game, the enemies are much smarter. I do like this glitch. That, uh, this uh, glitch actually happens a lot, where the projectiles go that way because of the current, and it doesn't know better that there's, like, a height difference. I, I'm not going to talk about nerdy stuff, but... Yeah. I'm just gonna be quiet now. I love all the gore. I love how they're these big muscly things and they turn into something that looks like corn cornflakes with blood on them. And they're like all over the place. Whereas the knights are just like armor. And I'm totally confused. Oh yeah, I got the yellow key done. I was so busy not shutting up that I didn't realize what I was supposed to be doing. I also think I like this game a lot more than Doom in many ways, just because it's a little more action-packed than Doom was. And I feel that like a lot of the weapons are more balanced in this than they were, because honestly, like everybody knows IDV QD, and then you just run around with like, you know, the freaking BFG blowing everybody up. Morph Ovum. And, uh, then it just becomes ridiculous, and it just makes the game easy. I mean, I've beaten the first Doom on Nightmare, and I may actually do a Let's Play where I run through it on Nightmare, because I could probably blow through it in no time. Alright, why am I getting confused by these wooden walkways? Um, but it's really not that bad on Nightmare, it's just like, you just need to know where you're going kind of just run through a lot of it. <laughs> totally worth it. But... Yeah, I don't know. This game, like, I honestly, I don't remember the cheats, and I very rarely use cheats on it. Oh, ouch. But... And like the the lowest level isn't even worth playing, cause it's really it's like a joke. But I don't know. I never found it like that hard. I mean, there are like challenging moments, but it's never too bad. Sounds like there's a secret along here. Piss off. I don't know. I, this is definitely, like, one of my favorite games. And I remember, you know, playing this for hours on end. And I remember getting my computer, and everything worked fine. And then I'm roaming around in circles. But then uh, my sound card, my original computer, just stopped working. I have no idea why. Like... I'll just say it was a piece of crap, but uh, it just stopped working one day, and it was kind of frustrating. Oh my god. Water's so much harder to navigate in Zedu. Um, it just stopped working, so I had to play like Doom and stuff like this like in silence, which is really like... It's terrifying because normally you can like you know hear like the little pig sound a demon makes, and in this you can hear like you know when something's coming at you. But basically for like six months, I like couldn't um, hear what was going on, and I don't know. I got really good at remembering where everything was, but most of it's kind of like fuzzy logic. I did try to do an LP earlier of this, uh, not today, but like a week ago, and, um, shite, um, it didn't really work out, 
and I ended up doing like the first chapter, and then I like looked back and I was like, oh wait, none of my sound recorded. Like, it wasn't even me talking. It was just like game sounds. And I keep getting confused by that thing. I'm getting like hardcore distracted because I'm talking. I'm so not used to playing this with any just dis with distractions. Oh my god, don't tell me I'm lost already. I know somewhere around here there's a stupid freaking green door. And I'm gonna find it. And I'm gonna make it pay. Oh, duh. There we go. Time for imp hell. I like how they throw fireballs, and the fireballs look exactly like the fire. Well, not exactly. They have a little more flair than the imps' fireballs in uh, Doom. Okay, seriously, all of you just die. Little red turds. This game loves bombarding like the most annoying enemies at you. And I was kind of taken aback. I mean, there were games like Rise of the Triad where, you know, like, you suddenly get bombarded by enemies, but, I don't know, I wasn't a huge fan of Rise of the Triad, but, you know, and it was kind of confusing, especially when, like, you know, you're used to, like, Doom was, like, the epic and Wolfenstein 3D where maybe there's, like, three guys in a room, like, other than boss battles, it's usually, like, you know, three guys in a room. That's it. But in this, not as much. This you just kind of get bombarded, and I don't know. It was always surprising. No, let's not glove or pull him to death. I didn't even know I could still access the pole once I got the, the gauntlets and white. rolled around and suddenly it was like oh my god there's so many characters on the screen at once like what am I going to do and by the way I hate this level this level is like my bane like it's just big and open and everything kind of looks the same like this game at least doesn't suffer from like texture redundancy but I don't know it's big and open, and imps are everywhere. Like, you'll hear the imp sound for the entirety of this level. You could get 100% kills, but I swear to god, they just threw in extra imp sounds. Just to mess with you. But, yeah. I'm glad I got the bag of holding, which actually gives you extra ammo. Imps, go away! Alright. 